Now the video production industry can be a little bit more complex than the photography world. And this industry comes with a whole new bag of technicalities, gear to buy, and terminology. How's it going everybody? It's Raf from BNC Camera. And if you clicked onto this video, you're probably wanting to know about shutter speed and how that ties specifically into video. Now the first important step to understand is knowing the difference between your frame rate and your shutter speed. And don't sweat it, getting the two mixed up is a very common thing, especially if you're new to the field. However, you will need to understand the difference between frame rate and shutter speed if you want to delve deeper into the video production game. So what is frame rate in video production? The frame rate in video production is the number of individual photographs in every second of the video. And frames per second are also called FPS. To you gamers out there, don't get it twisted with first person shooters. In video production, the most frequent frame rates you'll see is 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. Okay, so the main gist of it is this. 24 frames per second is typically used for Hollywood and movie standards. 30 frames per second is what you'll typically see on TV. And 60 will either be used for really smooth footage or if you want to slow down your video by half. Think of it this way. 60 divided by two is 30 frames, so half speed. Math stuff, fun. And just to give you guys a heads up, the videos that I typically shoot are right around 24 frames per second, just like the one you're watching right now. Alrighty, getting into the meat and potatoes, what is the best shutter speed for video? If you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you're gonna wanna shoot at either 150th or 160th of a second. Now, if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, keep it nice and simple, you're gonna set your shutter speed to 160th of a second. Now, of course, if you're shooting for that fluid or slow-mo video at 60 frames per second, you're gonna wanna have your shutter speed set to 1 120th of a second. And on a little side note here, frame rates do go up. There's also 120 and 240 frames per second. Now that's gonna be typically used for nice fluid video or for really, really slow-mo stuff. Again, if we're doing it in fractions, 120 frames per second equates to about four times slow-mo and 240 is gonna to equate to about eight times slow-mo, which is super slow. Uh, just keep in mind, if you're gonna be shooting at those higher frame rates, you're gonna basically double your shutter speed count. So 120, you're gonna to have to have a shutter speed of 240. And then 240, you're gonna have a shutter speed of 480, which is gonna be pretty underexposed, so make sure you have a lot of light. So I pretty much spilled the beans for you guys. Long story short is whatever frame rate you're shooting, you're gonna to wanna to double that in terms of your shutter speed. So say for example, again, you're shooting at 24 frames per second, double that is gonna be 48. Of course, most camera systems are probably gonna be floating at around 50, so you can put it either 50 or 60. And if you're shooting 30 frames per second, of course, double that is gonna be 1 60th of a second for your shutter speed, et cetera, et cetera. What is the shutter speed versus the frame rate? Now these two can be easily confused. So say for example, you're shooting at 1 80th of a second. You must think to yourself, oh, I must be shooting at around 80 frames per second. That is the improper way of looking at it. Again, your frame rate's gonna be tied to your camera and it's gonna be up to you to set your shutter speed to whatever value that you're gonna need to have it set to. And like I had mentioned earlier ago, I'm typically shooting videos at around 24 frames per second. Of course, double that is gonna be 48, but there isn't a really a 48 number value for my shutter speed count, so I jump it up to 1 50th of a second. Okay, so the next thing you're probably asking yourself is what the heck is gonna happen to my video if I shoot at a faster or slower shutter speed count than the actual rating that I need to shoot it at. Now, if you're shooting uh, at a really, really fast shutter speed, the video is gonna be very crisp and transparent, but during playback, it might be a little bit choppy, so keep that in mind. On the opposite end of that coin, if you're shooting at a slower shutter speed than what you're supposed to be set to, it's gonna be a lot more blurrier. Think of it kind of like shooting at a slow shutter speed when you're shooting photography stuff. It's gonna be blurry, it's not gonna be very clear, so definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so unless you're doing something really creative or specific, just remember to always double your shutter speed count based off of what frame rate you're shooting at. Now your shutter speed is gonna play an essential role in terms of how your video is gonna turn out. So definitely, definitely keep that in mind and be cognizant of it. And of course it doesn't hurt to experiment, but be sure not to be doing it at a big budget production. That's the last thing you'd wanna do. Okay, so hopefully with this video, it gave you a better idea and understanding between the difference of shutter speed and frame rate. Now, understanding all the technical aspects of your camera and knowing these terminologies will step up your game immensely, especially if this is the industry that you're gonna wanna be a part of. And of course, as always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe. Of course, I am none other than Raf from BNC Camera. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in another video.